Hey guys, Grumpy here with episode 16 of our Zero to Hero Let's Play series as Mercury God. So we have a very exciting episode today. Um, we are attempting a very specific and very difficult fight. Um, so the previous episode, um, just recapping, was mostly dedicated to designing our fleet. So this fleet is, it doesn't follow the traditional um, capital ship, uh, midline CQC guide that I put forth in the fleet composition guide video that I made. Um, there should be a card appearing now. Um, but what it is, is, uh, it is a specifically designed task force to handle the upcoming fight. So the way it's designed is it has four tanks. So two being dodge tanks and the afflictors, two being like actual, um, like traditional tanks so these guys can take a lot of damage um, next up we have damage dps ships in the form of the aurora the fury and then the two herons the piranha bombers will just sit on a target um, as they deploy them as they deploy their bombs um, so that's really nice then we have uh, also the conquest obviously is a dps ship um, it provides damage to the fight then we have our supports, so the Drover, the um, and the two Dominators, um, providing support at a distance, just being able to apply pressure, basically nonstop at a at a at a fairly decent decent range. All right, so with that out of the way, let's go ahead and make sure we're not like over on crew or anything. Let's go ahead and repair. We don't need any repairs. Ooh, we're just burning. Okay, we're just burning a flat 7.6 a day. Yikes. All right. Let's go ahead and check our missions. And let's head over to Project Ziggurats. Okay. So, fair warning. Um, this is going to be a very spoiler-filled video. Um, obviously, the fight that we're about to do is considered to be one of the most difficult fights in the game um, and we're quickly approaching the end game so if you don't want to be spoiled then just turn away from the video now but you are going to miss a very fun very interesting fight all right so here is the venture that we were tasked to find um, a little bit of lore well I won't go into the lore you can read through it we're gonna go ahead and recover the ship. That's fine, and we'll mothball it. All right, and then, ooh, what's this glowing little planet over here? Oh, what's this? Um, so here we're in official spoil territory. This is the Ziggurat. Um, this is the the ship that we're going to, or that we're tasked, special task designed to fight. All right, there's a little lore if you want to go through the different dialogue options. We're not going to go through that. You can read it at your own leisure, but let's go move into engage. Okay, so this fight is all about um, managing your fleet. So they're going to be, there's, the main tactic is going to be essentially grab its attention with the tanks turn it around so it focuses on us and then essentially just pelt it from behind with the rest of our fleet um, it's easier said it's way easier said than done it is difficult to maintain the the ziggurat's attention it is very smart and it usually doesn't fall for those kinds of tactics but anyway let's give it a shot all right first things first i'm gonna grab the tanks and put them on me um, the only reason I'm starting in an afflictor, I'm going to switch over to a monitor, but the only reason I'm starting is because the afflictor is the fastest ship, and I want to make sure I make contact with the, uh, the ziggurat before the rest of my fleet does. Uh, next up, let's start putting things in groups. Um, actually, do we need groups? It's only one, it's only one ship. Yeah. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and position our fleet. We'll break our fleet in half. We'll grab a dominator, or we'll grab the dominators. Put them on this side. Um, the herons. 
We'll put a heron on each side. And then the furies and the conquest can all just stay dead center. Actually, we'll put a dominator on that side as well. And we'll move everyone like this. And essentially, we'll have like the DPS in the front. Um, they're providing the brunt of the damage. Then we have supports on the side. Um, that way, the Ziggurat will be its attention will be divided between all of us. Um, if our tanks don't, if our tanks fail to maintain its attention, or if uh, we lose, uh, we lose a couple of, of tanks ourselves. But anyway, let's give them an opportunity to settle in position while we go ahead and uh, introduce ourselves. Okay, so the Ziggurat has many special abilities. Um, right now, what you're seeing, these purple dots, are moats. Um, they just generically spawn. That doesn't cost any flux. They just constantly spawn throughout the fight. Um, they do a ton of EMP damage, so be careful. Um, they will disable your ship, and then they also do some energy damage. So they will, after they disable your ship, ship they will definitely destroy it. All right. So now that the fleet is separating a bit, let's actually go ahead and um, uh, I don't want to do this. Let's grab you guys and actually push you up this way, and we'll grab. Um, let's set you guys to group two, and let's set you to group. Three, and we'll send three up this way. Oh, you missed a body. Uh, we'll also assign you to group three. So the way I do that is I hold down the control key, and then I select the ship, and then I press control three. Uh, so we'll bind you all to the same group, and then once everyone is in position, we'll push our DPS forward. And then our DPS will uh, start laying into the ship, and then our supports will also lay um, additional fire. Alrighty. I am going to task uh, this afflictor to harass the uh, ziggurat. I'm also going to lend this afflictor to that, and I'm going to transfer over to a monitor. And are we in phase space? We are. I'd rather not relinquish control while we're in phase space. Okay, so that's his second special ability. Um, it basically directs the moats towards a target. Um, it's on a relatively short cooldown, so it can switch targets pretty quickly. Uh, but let's go ahead and back up. And let's drag these moats away. Alright. Let's just go all the way back. Okay, um, the moats don't really have a range. Alright, we'll apply that to that. And then we'll transit command. Okay, wow. Fantastic. Um, this Aurora is about to get deleted. Because it couldn't wait. Oh my gosh. That's fantastic. Okay, well that'll happen in combat. Your ships will just, you know, of their own volition decide to engage a unidentified um otherworldly looking ship. So that's nice. Uh we don't panic though. We see if we can salvage this. Hopefully the Aurora can get out of there. Um, we should have transferred ships to this one. But let's see if we can't tank some of these moats, give our Aurora a fighting chance, and then we'll start the, the assault on our own. Yes. Okay, we lost a monitor for that. Thank you. Thank you, Aurora. Re really appreciate it. Wow. Fantastic. Alright, let's 
So let's go ahead and start laying in supports from the sides. Now that we are one Fury down, or uh, one Aurora down. Oh, we just got deleted. <laughs> Yikes. Oh, okay, the moats, yeah, no, that checks out. The moats can, um, the moats can jump shields. I completely forgot about that. All right, and then let's, all right, well, let's grab an afflictor. And this is what I was talking about. The Ziggurat doesn't really care about, um, The Ziggurat doesn't really care about um, me being a small ship right next to it, whereas normally a small ship would be a big problem to it. But our fleet is so spread out that I don't think the Ziggurat can um, really make the most or can really uh, do as much damage as it normally would be able to. Alright, and then let's just collapse everybody on this. I mean, everyone's pretty much giving it their all, it would appear. Alright, we can go ahead and cancel this order. Oof. But you see, our design is working. Um, it being flux out is really good. So it can't really phase anywhere, it can't go anywhere. Um, it's soon going to take a lot of missiles to the face. Which should... Um, start bringing it down. We're actually going to change this to an engage order and really encourage everyone to lean in. Alright. We'll apply entropy to it when we can. might do well with controlling one of our ships like one of our DPS ships probably not the fury that's about to die <laughs> All right, let's see if we can bring it back to safety nope all right let's at least get it out of the way But, that proved uh, enough of a distraction, I suppose, um, that it was enough to bring down the Ziggurat. Alright, uh, so we lost four ships in that battle. The monitors, for some reason, I forgot that they can't tank the moats. The moats do EMP damage that jumps over the, the, the shields that they have. Um, otherwise, they can tank you know, every other ship in the game. Uh, we lost the Fury, that's fair, um, I mean, we just got, it just got caught out in the middle, it was flamed out, couldn't really go anywhere. The only, like, real tactical loss, like, the only, like, actual loss that we could have mitigated was this fear, this Aurora. Um, the Aurora jumped into the battle w without permission, it just started engaging the Ziggurat on its own, and it was promptly shredded. Um, so the way I look at this, this is copium, but we only lost one ship in that fight. I mean, there are four here, obviously, but we really only lost one ship in the fight due to, um, tactical neg negligence. Um, the rest of this is, is expected. Well, now we only lost one ship. We lost one more ship than we should have due to negligence. But anyway, all in all, a very clean fight. Um, it is a phase ship after all. It is scary. It is intimidating. But if you can flux it out, it can't go anywhere. Um, it can't fire off its plasma cannons. You know, it, it it's susceptible to to a missile fire at that point. Anyway, let's go ahead and consider ship recovery. Uh, we don't get it all. 
um, without cost. Um, yeah, sure. You know what? Sure. We'll be a little liberal with our story points. Normally, I wouldn't spend a story point to recover a monitor. But then again, I'd never lose monitors. So, it is what it is. Anyway. Right. So, post-battle, uh, Final Terrific Explosion blanks the external visual pickups. A few seconds later, backs up are extruded through the hole. Your sensor officers report in a hushed voice that no one is no escape pods were detected leaving the ship at any point. Hmm, what could that mean? Hmm, hmm, hmm. All right. Anyway, let's go ahead and explore. Uh, there's a bunch of lore here. You get to recover the ship, so we will absolutely do that. And I forget to do this every single time, but bring additional crew. Um, so that you can crew the ziggurat while you fly it out. Yeah, because now we have the not enough crew to keep all combat ships ready. Let's go ahead and do some expert or uh, some salvaging. Get a bit of supplies. That's cool. And then we need to mothball a few things. So let's mothball the Fury. Let's mothball the Aurora. Basically all the ships that don't really have any combat readiness, or that don't have any hull or combat readiness. Um, mm. We're gonna have to mothball our carriers. That sucks. Uh, you do have to pay for combat readiness on the way out. Like, once you unmothball a ship, you have to pay the supply cost again. So it just hurts to lose this much combat readiness. But our carriers are what cost the most uh, crew to maintain. Yikes, really? Alright. The reason I'm doing this is because I want to get the uh, Ziggurat off of 1% hull integrity. Um, every time you transverse jump, you take a risk that you damage a ship randomly in your fleet. And if a ship is on 1%, there's a chance that you can lose it. Alright. So let's go ahead and give it a day here. We're on 3%. That's fair enough. Let's go ahead and transverse jump out. Alright. So that's one of our ships taking damage during the uh, transverse jump. Let's head to Mayasora and drop off this bad boy and we'll call it an early episode. Um the flight the fight is is a little hectic. Oh we'll we'll avoid every single storm, we'll just go dark. The fight can be hectic and it can be um scary and intimidating, but as long as you keep in mind, hey, it's just a phase ship. Um use all the same principles you would against a normal phase ship and you'll do just fine. All right, let's go ahead and jump in here. Um, we'll keep our transponder off. Uh, you do have to be careful while you have the ziggurat in your fleet because ships will treat you, ships and factions will treat you differently um, now that you have it. Because obviously they recognize it. Well, they don't recognize it, but they see it as something that's very dangerous. Um, so it is something to be concerned about. Uh, we will store it for now. We'll look at it in a later episode. But uh, everything else, we can unmothball these. Uh, we can unmothball you and you as well. We can put these back. We can put these back. Put those back. We will keep one monitor in our fleet. And we'll take out the regular crew. And then we'll call the episode there. Um, we can bring out the omens, the brawler. We'll bring out a demodded omen. That's fine. We can put back the drove. Actually, yeah, let's take a drover. Alright. So now that we have a bunch of holes in our fleet, um, the next episode is going to go back into um, building up the supplies that we need in order to um, in order to repair all our ships, get rid of all our demods, and then start moving on to the next step, which is going to be exploration and colonization. Alright, uh, apparently I grabbed the wrong omen. 
I need the omen that actually has uh, things on them. Okay, apparently not. Whatever. Well, I'll design that one off camera. Uh, you've seen it before, actually. We can just auto fit this. It's custom. Ah, that's such a convenient feature. Let me organize this and then I'm serious, I'll end the episode. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, let's go ahead and put back the fuel and put back the crew. We don't need that many heavy machinery. And then let's grab a little bit of that. Alright, I um, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I know it's on the shorter side. But um, the main point of the episode in these last uh, four or five episodes has just been preparing for this fight. Now we're on the downhill of the rest of the main quest line. There are still a few more tasks that we need to accomplish, um, but they're nowhere near as difficult as what we just endured. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I, I had fun. I really enjoyed that fight. Um, there's a lot of ways you can tech for it. That's not the only way. Um, I've seen some creative things with a bunch of uh, safety overrides Hyperions. Um, I've seen things with a lot of missile spams like swarmers and annihilators um, just putting out constant pressure. So um, definitely, definitely give that fight uh, a try for yourself. Um, don't be too intimidated by it. Feel free to use my fleet composition that I did. Um, obviously you saw that that worked with minimal casualties. Um, a little improv improvisation, but still enough to get the job done. Anyway, I'm going to stop dragging this video on. I'm going to end it here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Other than that, grumpy out.